Hey, crypto friends, for those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Garrett and welcome to Altcoin Radar. Today, we're going to take a look at the Nakamoto Games charts and we are going to see where it might be headed and we're going to cover both both uh, both bullish and bearish scenarios as well just to simply cover all the different possibilities and towards the end of the end of the video i will cover the overall macro structure of the overall mar uh, altcoin market as well now for those of you who are new to the channel if you are interested in trading and would like to try out the same crypto exchange that i use on a daily basis feel free to go ahead and try out the blowfin exchange with the link in the video description down below this video i personally love this exchange because the best part is um, kyc is not required for one and two they allow people from the united states to trade futures on it so that is one of the biggest reasons why i absolutely love this exchange because a lot of exchanges have been restricting people uh, united states users but this one doesn't, so it's very nice. So let's go ahead and take a look at Nakamoto Games. As you guys can clearly see, we have literally broken out of this downtrend finally, which is very, very nice to see. I wouldn't say we're quite out of the woods just yet, um, but we are out of the woods as far as, you know, um, continuing the downward momentum that we were having up until, let's see here, up until like, uh, you know, like five or six days ago. So that is very, very nice to see. I'm loving this. Uh, for those of you who know me, um, or who don't know me, I've been a big fan of Nakamoto Games for quite a while. I first got into it in December of 2022, and I've been holding on to it ever since, all right? Um, I'm one of those people that, I'm not one of those people who thinks that it's going to go to $100 or anything like that. I'm, I'm more of a realistic investor, and I like to, um, you know, pull out of things at a, you know, realistic price targets, all right? So as far as what we can clearly see as of right now is what we're looking at right now, we can clearly see RSI is pretty much right in neutral territory right now, which is kind of nice to see. As you guys can also see, uh, we ended up breaking through this resistance area of $1.76, which is very nice. And we ended up actually going all the way up to almost $2, which is really cool. Um, $2 is pretty much like a psychological level right now, um, just like $3 is a psycho psychological level as well. Uh, but we should pretty much be able to clear that if we can gain enough momentum to be able to go much higher and cross this $2.11 mark. And once we hit this $2.11 mark, we want to be able to cross this next, you know, this much larger um this much larger downtrend uh, from this all time or from this high that we hit back here on March 22nd. All right. And once that happens, honestly, I would feel extremely comfortable that we are in a full blown uptrend, a full blown new uptrend with Nakamoto Games. All right. Now, in a bearish scenario, which I really hope does not end up happening, um, in a bearish scenario, obviously, we don't want to lose this $1.30 level, all right? We don't want to lose this level either, $1.76, all right? We've gone, we've gone down a lot. Nakamoto Games has dropped a lot. Um, from its high, it's dropped, let's see here, it's dropped about 60%. 60% since it made its high. That is insane. I mean, a lot of different, a lot of other altcoins have dropped quite a bit also. Um, but I mean, hey, I guess if you're shaking out weak hands and people who can't handle the stress of, you know, holding for the long term, I mean, I guess it's kind of a good thing. So that is good to see. And it's really good to see that we ended up, you know, um, breaking out again right down here at the same level that we broke out uh, when we dropped far in the last after the last big peak. Um, so that's nice to see as well. All right. Now, if we go ahead and bring up the Bollinger Bands, we can clearly see also that we are currently trading above the moving average on the Bollinger Bands as well, which is very, very nice to see because as many people know who, you know, use the Bollinger Bands, um, anytime price is trending above the moving, between the moving average and the upper band, it usually means that momentum and sediment is overall super bullish and people are continuing to buy. As you guys can clearly see from past trends, Every single time the price is moving above or starts trending above the moving average and in between the moving average and in between the, the top band, sediment is bullish almost every single time. And obviously when, you know, price starts to move below the moving average on the Bollinger Bands and, you know, to the lower band of the bands, um, you know, price is obviously bearish that whole time. And that's where we've been for quite a while is underneath. Um, let's see here. We've been underneath... Underneath the uh, moving average on the Bollinger Bands for, let's see here, um, for about 
for about 27 days here, for about a full month here. So it's about time that we finally break out of it and start some bullish momentum here going on. Now, what I'm hoping here is, is I'm hoping that we do end up having another run like we had right here. It would be very, very nice. But to be honest with you, um, since we dropped down to the same level that we started from in the last, you know, in the last downslope that we had, my fear here is that we'll only end up going as high as we did before if we do end up going high. Okay, if we do end up going high from here and momentum picks up, my fear is that we will end up going up to the three dollar and forty five cent level again and then bouncing off of it to the downside. But if that does end up happening, I would hope that we would end up uh, bouncing. I would hope that we would end up going only going down about halfway than we went in this previous downtrend. All right. Which would be right around probably like two dollars and twenty seven cents if that happened. All right. So overall here, right now, as far as you know, short term is concerned or midterm is concerned, we want to see price hold this $1.76 level. If price does not hold this $1.76 cent level, we will end up probably going back down and trading between these levels again of 131 and 176 until we start gaining momentum again to be able to break through these you know considerable levels here to be able to move higher and higher and higher the overall goal here guys is we want to be creating a stepping stone or stepping stones all the way up of higher lows each time okay so we want to create a higher low here or somewhere around there we want to create another higher low here want to create a more higher low here all the way back all the way up to the upside all right and that is the overall key that we are looking for is to continue the upward momentum and continue the you know the stepping stones all the way upwards all right now if we go ahead and take a look at the four hour chart in more of a shorter term time frame, uh, we can clearly see that uh, price did recently just go way above the bands, pretty much tells us things are pretty oversold and things are going to start coming down. And when that usually happens, as you guys can clearly see right here, um, when we are in an overall uptrend, which is what we're in right now, kind of, if momentum holds, this is all based on if momentum holds, uh, we will probably only end up dropping down to wherever the moving average ends up coming out to which is exactly what happened you know right here as you guys can clearly see uh we became oversold or sorry overbought and we ended up dropping down to you know the area of the moving average here and ended up going back up again and that is what i'm hoping ends up happening here is we end up going down to the moving average again and then bouncing upwards again and going even higher all right and that is the overall key here guys to be looking for so um, as far as the overall macro structure of the overall altcoin market itself, let's go ahead and take a look at that on the daily chart. Uh, the overall macro structure is pretty decent, uh, to be honest with you. Um, it looks pretty nice right now on the daily, though we are currently eyeballing the moving average in the Bollinger Bands here. Um, if we end up bouncing to the downside off of the moving average here, we will probably end up breaking through this 670, 667 billion dollar range again and dropping, you know, back into this back into this range between 560 billion and 667 billion. But if we do end up dropping below this 667 billion dollar range i would end up looking for a bounce right around in this area where we've got some clear support down here at the 596 billion dollar range so in a bearish scenario if we end up or if this moving average ends up not holding right up here and we end up dropping my guess is we'll end up going down and bouncing off of here and then going up a little bit and then bouncing down again and then bouncing off of this major support level and you know hopefully gaining momentum to go higher and higher again all right so that is overall what i am currently seeing here as far as the overall um uh overall altcoin market is concerned now if momentum does continue to go higher and higher from here and we don't end up going to the downside and we end up clearing this moving average here, obviously we're going to be looking to um, this next area of resistance here, which would be right around $733.5 billion. All right. So overall, it's all about the levels. You got to keep looking at them. You got to you got to stare at them. Um, you can't just have hopium all the time and think, oh, my gosh, this thing's going to go to 100 bucks and, you know, I'm going to be a, a, a trillionaire or whatever. It doesn't work like that. You have to look at the levels if you want to take this stuff seriously and you have to be able to, you know, figure out uh, where things could potentially go based on the momentum that's going on and where the price action is currently moving. All right. 
So guys, before I actually go ahead and wrap up this video, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button on, or hit, sorry, hit the like button below this video, and leave me a comment down below on your thoughts on where you might think this coin is going to end up going. And with that said, for those of you who watched this entire video, I appreciate you guys, and thank you for watching, and I hope to see all of you in my future videos as well.